Before we get started, I'd like to cover a few points on enhancing black beauty. While it's important to note there's only one race, the human race, there are genetic differences between each ethnic group. For example, the greater concentration of melanin in people with African roots provides a natural protection that's equal to an SPF of 13. Also, our fibroblast cells, which are the cells responsible for creating collagen, are binucleated. This means that we produce more collagen. When you begin to couple these factors together, you start to see why people of African descent appear to age slower than any other ethnic group. In fact, it's said that we age 10 years slower than fairer skin types. That said, there are a few steps that people with deeply pigmented skin should take to maintain a healthy skin condition and navigate the aging process. First, develop an effective skincare regimen. It's important to cleanse and hydrate twice a day. I like to use sulfite or sulfate-free cleansers, followed by a hydrating serum or ampule, and then end with a finishing cream. Also, it's imperative that you exfoliate once or twice a week. Using a mild acid or enzyme can effectively remove dead skin cells without sandblasting them off like a scrub. And if you must use an abrasive, make sure that it has super fine granules like those home microderm abrasion kits. Second, use a mineral-based sunscreen. Chemical-based sunscreens are just too oily and can clog the hair follicles over time. Also, no matter what sunscreen you're using, you'll need to couple it with an antioxidant. So it works like this. The minerals, zinc and titanium, filter out UV rays, while the antioxidants neutralize free radicals caused by the sun's radiation. Third, invest in high quality products. I'm all for affordable beauty. However, cutting corners by using products that have less than favorable ingredients can only lead to acne or contact dermatitis, which will eventually cause hyperpigmentation and even premature aging. When you're enhancing black beauty, I suggest that you invest in products that have a high amount of pigment and relatively clean ingredients so that they complement the skin type rather than compromising it. Now I know all of this can be very confusing. That's why I created a downloadable PDF to help you understand which ingredients work best with each skin type. As a makeup artist, you don't have to have a thorough understanding of the structure and function of skin, but in order to ensure flawless makeup application, everyone should understand the canvas they're preparing. 